Victor's shocking deception unravels Nikki's sobriety, Young and the restless drama explodes. Nikki's triumphant return home is overshadowed by Victor's massive lie, threatening her newfound sobriety. As secrets unravel, tensions soar, and Nikki's stability hangs in the balance. Meanwhile, Cole uncovers Victor's dark scheme involving Jordan, putting him in a precarious position. With Victor's deceit exposed, chaos ensues, leaving Nikki vulnerable to relapse. Can she withstand the fallout of Victor's deception, or will it lead to her downfall? As the drama unfolds, Summer's change of heart towards Claire raises eyebrows and sparks speculation. Will Summer's newfound trust in Claire backfire, leading to unforeseen consequences? Don't miss the explosive twists and turns on the young and the restless. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victor stops Cole and Michael's move and busts Jordan prison transfer. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Friday, May 24 indicate that Claire Grace will worry Oxford wants Cole Howard back and believe he is concealing something. Cole will, however, insist that he is prolonging his leave of absence and will appear to be letting go of his worries about Jordan. To get Nikki and Victor Newman on board, Michael Baldwin will meet them at the ranch and propose a celebratory lunch with Lauren Baldwin. Michael will pretend to have last-minute contracts to review before they depart for society, so he'll send Victor and Nikki out to meet Lauren and vow to catch up with them. Michael will text Cole while he's by himself to let him know that their plan must go through right away. Claire's writing lesson will have to wait, and Cole will raise suspicions with Victoria. Claire will make fun of Victoria outside the stables by saying that she doesn't think it's possible that Cole is being kept occupied by another lady. Claire will confront Victoria about their less-than-friendly relationship, as she has observed it. Although Victoria will acknowledge that she has discussed it with Cole, she will also emphasize that Claire is their top concern and that they are not in a hurry. Now that she's moved in, Claire will encourage Victoria and Cole to start putting more of an emphasis on themselves. Harrison Abbott will undoubtedly simply be experiencing a false alarm when he sees a woman in the park who looks like Jordan. Harrison will ask Kyle Abbott why mommy doesn't like Claire even after he tells him that Jordan won't be returning. Harrison will still appear concerned about Claire. That will put Kyle in a difficult situation but he will pretend that Summer Newman simply needs more time to get over her fear. Harrison will invite Claire to ride the Ferris wheel with him after he brings up the fact that tomorrow is the last day of the fun fair. Claire will receive an invitation from Kyle over the phone, and he will persuade her that attending won't put her in conflict with Summer. The three of them will have a great time riding together when Claire soon joins Kyle and Harrison. Summer will be complaining about Harrison's nightmares including his worries over Claire to Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, at Society. Even when Claire isn't there, it will appear like she is, at least from Summer's point of view. Nick will counter that Claire seems to genuinely care about Harrison and offer that it could be beneficial for them to spend some time together. However, Phyllis will not believe that Summer should be coerced into doing anything. Cole and Michael will go to the dungeon where Jordan is imprisoned at the ranch, but on the way there, they'll set off a motion-activated alarm, which will alert Victor in secret. When Victor and Nikki go to society, Victor will receive text updates on the dungeon disruption, leaving Nikki perplexed as to why he's leaving so quickly. They will wake Jordan awake and inform her that she will be transferred to a real prison when Cole brings Michael down to her cell. Victor will show up out of nowhere to foil Michael and Cole's scheme. Victor will say, I'll be damned if I let that happen, on Friday's episode of YNR. Nick and Summer will be happy with how amazing Nikki looks back at society. When Phyllis inquires as to Nikki's secret, she repeats that it is alcoholism and says she recently returned from treatment. Phyllis will congratulate Nikki and sound sincere after complimenting her on her wise decision. 
Phyllis will also probe Nikki about her true feelings towards Claire, leading Nikki to stand up for her granddaughter while still acknowledging Summer's viewpoint. After their ride on the Ferris wheel, Summer will run into Kyle, Claire, and Harrison in the park. Kyle will tell Summer about Harrison's freakout when he believed he saw Jordan earlier, even though she will initially be annoyed. Summer will give up and suggest that perhaps they might talk about making this a regular occurrence after she notices Harrison's happiness and how well he's doing. When it appears that Summer is warming up to the notion of a nanny, Claire will be pleasantly thrilled, and Harrison will also say, hooray. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Summer will approach Claire cautiously, but our predictions indicate that more progress will be made in the near future. The next update for today. Collision of Tucker and Ashley's Paris trips, Ms. Abbott's final chance for a fatal outcome? According to previews on The Young and the Restless, Tucker McCall is expected to travel to Paris shortly, while Audra Charles appears to have already there. Audra had been thinking of pulling a glissade power move, and Tucker was informed over the phone on May 23 that Audra is, in fact, making her move in Paris. Tucker will, of course, soon board a plane and attempt to foil Audra's cunning scheme. Because they are still very much in love, Tucker might also fight to get Audra back on a romantic level. However, given that Tucker is traveling to the same location as Ashley Abbott, danger may also be lurking for him. In order to investigate Ashley's memories and attempt to determine the origin of the trauma that resulted in her did, Alan Laurent would want her to return to Paris with him. The fact that Tucker and Ashley will be visiting Paris simultaneously is most definitely not a coincidence. This is obviously where YNR is headed, and Tucker might find himself in danger as a result. Mrs. Being a fighter, Abbott may make a sudden, powerful comeback. In the course of this narrative, Ms. Abbott has consistently managed to subdue Ashley and the other alterations to emerge. Given that we are aware of a Ms. Abbott believes that eliminating Tucker from the map would be the only effective way to safeguard Ashley, as it would provide her the ideal chance to launch an attack in Paris. It's simple to picture Ms. when their jet lands, Abbott gets up and knocks Alan out. Mrs. After learning of Tucker's own Paris landing, Abbott might conclude that this is her final opportunity to get rid of him before Ashley is compelled to undergo therapy. Is this possibly leading to a confrontation in Paris between Ms. Tucker and Abbott? Will the Ms. Abbott equip herself and set up an ambush to eliminate Tucker for good? In any event, our YNR forecasts suggest that Tucker and Ashley's vacation to Paris could not go as planned. We'll keep you informed of any developments. Stay tuned for more surprises from Paris, according to teasers from The Young and the Restless. The next update for today. Uncertainties, decrees, and dangerous situations. Discover what awaits your beloved Genoa City favorites. Spoilers for the week of May 27 to May 31st on the Young and the Restless Center on unstable mental health problems, hot mess scenarios, and much more. Jordan's secret is revealed. Jordan can't possibly remain in Victor's one-woman jail for very long. Cole informs Michael that he is aware. In an attempt to save Victor from himself, Michael manages to dislodge his employer from the property, allowing them to seize Jordan and transport her to a legitimate jail. She can spend the rest of her life stewing there, assuming she can find out a way out once more. Victor, of course, has them figured out and stops them in their tracks. He must now decide what to do with Jordan's future. Does he accept the plan that Michael and Cole have devised? If so, that explains why he holds Michael responsible for his acts later in the week. Given his nature, Victor is likely to vent his resentment on Michael in the event that something catastrophic occurs. Which it performs without fail. Summertime Coolness Mama Bear Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, nominated for a 2024 Daytime Emmy, had been tense, intense, and afraid for weeks on end. Eventually, she begins to show less of those feelings. 
she even begins to soften some of her more recent choices. With Claire, she had a change of heart. Summer gives Claire the benefit of the doubt after hearing positive things about her and observing how well she gets along with Harrison. Unexpectedly, Summer doesn't end there. Even so, she declares a ceasefire with Sally, Courtney Hope, who is up for a 2024 Daytime Emmy nomination. Sally, they were fierce rivals a few years ago. It seems like Summer and Sally have put their disagreements behind them now. Does Sally's attempt to exert dominance have anything to do with this? Will she and Summer begin working together soon? After all, Sally has recently been considering a yo-yo or career pivot. Strangers and Ends Ashley is at a dangerous place with her mental health. Eileen Davidson's family and Dr. Alan Lauren, Christopher Cousins, who discusses working with her here, intend to help her get through this difficult period. But it's challenging because of Ashley's changes, particularly when they obstruct her care in a group. Fortunately, later in the week, Ashley and Tracy arrive in Paris. Are they ready for what's coming up? Will they attempt to determine the true cause of Ashley's did? Since that disastrous night when Nikki Melody Thomas Scott, who is being honored at the 2024 Daytime Emmys, made the decision to enter rehab, Jack and Nikki haven't seen one other. She's back in Genoa City, and she looks fantastic. Seek Jack and Nikki to come to a mutual agreement. This understanding may have resulted from Diane giving Jack an ultimatum over Nikki at last. Naturally, Jack's spouse is concerned for her husband's sobriety as well. Is Diane concerned about Jack's sudden forgetfulness? Will that cause him to retrace his steps? The next update for today. Will Cole reveal Victor's deceptions? Or will someone else arrive at the scene first? Friday, May 24, spoilers for the young and the restless put Cole in a difficult situation. His Aunt Jordan doesn't appeal to him. Then there was the hole who abducted his baby girl, brainwashed her, and then attempted to kill Cole's ex-wife and her family. However, there is the matter of Victor holding the insane woman as a prisoner. What action is appropriate for him to take? Loyalty, law, and order. Claire is obviously Cole's top priority, then Victoria. As long as Jordan is free to roam around, both of them are in danger. However, is Victor entitled to enforce the law on his own? We are aware that he has done this numerous times, but it still isn't right, and Cole previously had very little influence on it. Will Victor give in or deny if Cole confronts him and threatens to reveal what he's done, or will Cole wind up in prison alongside Auntie Jordan and her uneaten Brussels sprouts? Uninvited visitors. Meanwhile, Victor believes he has everything under control. He can put Jordan behind lock and key and spit food at her to his heart's content since no one will ever find out what he's done. However, that is before the final two persons he anticipated seeing face him. Those who could disturb his extremely fragile apple cart. Second Ideas Summer's feelings are very clear, she does not want Claire to look after Harrison. Kyle has made it clear that he will not hesitate to take whatever action that he feels like taking. Harrison is likewise quite excited about Claire. Summer was informed by Claire that she could understand her cousin's lack of confidence. But wasn't there another opportunity for her? They will always be family, after all. The next update for today. On Young and the Restless, Victor's lie about Jordan will push Nikki off the wagon. Nikki is back, but for how long will her sobriety last? Nikki triumphantly made her way home on the May 23rd episode of The Young and the Restless, but Victor wasn't present. Naturally, he was downstairs with Jordan. Nikki may look healthy, but Victor's massive lie will ultimately bring her down. Health and back, but how long? Nikki was extremely hopeful when she saw Victoria and Claire in the tack house. She appeared joyful and in good health. 
Victor discovered in the meanwhile that someone had been to Jordan, but the insane woman had withheld her identity. He probably knows it was Cole, of course. Cole was at society at the same time, telling Michael all he had discovered in Victor's jail's wine cellar. It will be challenging to get Jordan out of Victor's hands and into the hands of the authorities, so the two men tried to come up with a strategy. Nikki informed Victor how dedicated she was to her sobriety when she was discovered by him at the tack house. She exuded an air of supremacy. Unfortunately for her, she is going to find out about Victor's massive lie regarding Jordan, which will undoubtedly cause her to lose it. When word gets out that Jordan is still alive, we have a feeling Nikki will fall hard and fast off the wagon. Knowing what a massive deception Victor is hiding, it's quite difficult to watch her succeeding. Victor will attempt to conceal his secret now that he knows Cole is most likely the one who knows Jordan is still alive, but it will be impossible because Michael already knows. Everything is going to explode up and go horribly wrong. Victor will ultimately be held accountable for Nikki's downfall because he really ought to have known better by now. But there are a few significant unknowns. Will Jordan survive or end up dead? Will she go to jail or avoid punishment? How do you feel? Tell us in the comments section below. The next update for today. Young and the restless star Summer's change of heart towards Claire can come back to haunt her. Is Summer airing in some way? Summer made an effort to maintain her firm position towards Claire in the May 24th episode of The Young and the Restless. Summer ultimately changed her mind because of Harrison's response to her cousin, but it could come back to bother her sooner than she realizes. Concerning Face Summer heard from Nick and Phyllis regarding Claire. Summer didn't think Nick's daughter should give Claire another chance. It was unexpected because later on, even Phyllis appeared to be touched by Nikki sharing her sentiments regarding Claire. Harrison convinced Kyle to invite Claire to the funfair in the meanwhile. They had a great time riding a Ferris wheel together, the three of them. When Summer later met them all at Chancellor Park, she was moved by Harrison's feelings and made the decision to give her cousin another shot. Harrison gave a happy hop. Naturally, Victor discovered Michael and Cole attempting to transport Jordan to an actual jail, so the young child might be in for a lot of suffering. It was promptly stopped by him, so Jordan is still in the game. Jordan had obviously already abducted Claire and left her for dead. Harrison was also abducted by the madwoman, and he's still having nightmares about it. Jordan is a tricky woman when it comes to jails, so if she manages to break free, she'll be back to terrorize Claire. Given that it appears Claire will be spending more time with Harrison, Jordan might even decide to take Harrison. How do you feel? Will Summer regret giving Claire another opportunity in life? Alternatively, will these two become close friends and support Harrison in any way? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.